it's only 11.30. Um, so I thought <clears throat> I would come down here and sand and maybe get one, f the first finish coat on all of these hatches because why not? Boy, it's amazing how nice it feels all sanded down. Very smooth. One of my biggest concerns right now is that I may start wet sanding some of this as my sweat drips onto it as I'm sanding. And then when I'm ready to put on the final coat, again, I think what I've decided to do, since these cockpit hatches, I want them all to be the same color as the cabin house, the cockpit, everything else. So I'm going to get some non-skid, and when I put the final finish coat on, spread non-skid, almost, you know, maybe mask around the perimeter, mask the, you know, the front edge, and just have this nice defined non-skid surface. I have a little bit of non-skid I've had for years. I'm not sure whether I have enough to do all three of these hatch covers. Maybe I'll see if my bride Betsy wants to run down to West Marine while I'm out racing and see if they have any non-skid. Whew, baby, it is hot and sticky. Yikes. So everything has been sanded and wiped down with de-waxer and surface prep. So now I need to Mix up a little paint. Had to replace my paint pourer. The old one had gotten kind of tired. It was leaking a little bit. And right here it says, do not use with oil-based coatings. Well, darn. That kind of defeats the purpose. I think probably because the oil-based coatings don't clean off of it very well. The water-based just sort of peels right off of it. Notice some lumps and bumps in this paint already, even though the can's fairly new. So I mix a little brushing thinner in to thin it down about 5% or so. Stir it up very well. And then I run it through a paint strainer. I have been straining everything these days. It just seems to do a much better job. Oh, yeah, man, there is lots of crud in this strainer, which would negatively impact the finished product. Oh, darn. I forgot that I'm going to be tipping. I like to get the brush completely coated in thinner turpentine, mineral spirits, whatever you happen to have, and then spin it out. Because whatever finish you're using wants to wick up the brush bristles. And so if you pre-coat it with mineral spirits or paint thinner, then the paint thinner has already wicked all the way up to the ferrule. And now when you put the paint 
on. The paint won't wick up as far because the bristles are already completely saturated with something. If you don't saturate it with paint, saturate it with paint thinner and then the paint won't saturate it. If you're painting latex, get it soaking wet in water and spin the water out, which will achieve the same purpose. Now, it looks nice. Lots of little bubbles in it. Which is not a surprise because that's what the roller does. And the tipping, just a gentle sweep across to get rid of all the little bubbles and just flatten things right out. Looks pretty darn good for now. Second coat will make it perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching Slow Air. Um, let's see, so we've got first finished coat on the saloon hatch, both cockpit hatches, and one more coat of finish on the outside grab rails. With any luck, we can install those tomorrow and maybe tonight or tomorrow we'll start putting the finished coat on these. So, again, thank you for following Slow Air. Um, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe so you get notifications when the next videos are coming out. Have a great day. See you on the water.